Saturday, everyone. God, Saturday. Hey. Saturday. Up's our Tath Ultra Wave. Hello. Got everybody here. Everybody's here. All oh. the fellas. Angel left. Angel didn't want to be here. Bye, Angel. <laughs> Bye, kitty. Welcome, oh. everyone. Now we just have a nice lap shot. Yes. Oh, now it's kitty again. Now it's kitty. A little kitty button. Oop. Oh, big yawn. All right, how's the screen looking? Oh, God. You can it's probably shrink the table. Oh, God. Like, a lot. All right. Or make it bigger. Goofy goober. Just subscribe. We, 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 so can someone work on making an overlay for Al? <laughs> yeah, I'm just thinking uh, we need an overlay for. I, 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 I can throw some together in Illustrator, like in my spare the, time. Have you seen the overlay that we do, Al, by any chance? That my, my I think podcast. So, I had, I've had to have seen it before. <gasps> Lightcast, you're in Good Springs. Have, I hope you're having a great time. Oh, actual, yeah, I heard about actual that. Good Springs? How yeah. Was good Springs there, was, there was a good together this week. That's yeah. right. That was this weekend. Damn, I'll have to go next week or next year. <laughs> next week? Money. Let's go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good Springs? I mean, it'd be a lot. Yeah, it's, it's next the, week. The, the Fallout get together. So, HJ Psycho? I have a policy in my classroom that if anyone goes there and brings me back sand, they get like a free A on whatever Ooh. they want. And oh. Cast in. And I was like, prove it. And they're like, done. Someone and showed me the Polaroid. In. And I was like, done. That's amazing. That's amazing. What's up, HJ Psycho? What's up, Trey Simino? Trey Simino, you should embed the stream itself somewhere in the, in the stream. Screen. Stream. The stream inside the stream. Oh, I should probably do the... Hold on. Let me get to the, the point where I put a map on the screen. Can you roll to seduce Al, HJ Psycho? I guess so. Why not? It's in, it's in the possibility of D and D. So there's our. Um, I posted it in Twitch Boys. That's what our overlay looks like. Get oh, ready, everyone! George. Everything's gonna oh, change. George. Oh, oh my God. God! There's a cat. There's a cat. <laughs> oh, that overlay looks dope. Cat loves jumping. Yeah, Desiree. Overlay is still from 2020, from Christmas. I don't know how to change it. I forgot what service I used. <laughs> like that. Um. Just add them more, more windows. That's fine. <laughs> more windows. Even more windows. Well, I have for the table. It's I have to have the one screen open for. Uh... Oh, because it's Discord. So otherwise, it yeah. displays whatever. Right, 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 right. <laughs> so if I click on anything, what's up, Inferno? Inferno Beast, welcome, welcome. Yeah, we're doing D and D for those of you who haven't been here. Uh, we do D and Ds every once in a while, and uh, shall get you. Whatever up. the five of us are, are around. I also got another comp. Um, what's the companion booklet? For uh, impossible landscapes, which I'll be running. Ooh! At this rate, it's probably going to be not until early next year, because I have a lot to read. All the reading, you're going to be well oh, read. A uh, goofy, thank you for and the I sub, by the way. Some, uh, yeah. I also got some feed, or not feedback. Uh, what's the word? Some. I've got some feet. <laughs> some feed. It does have feet. Um, a feedback. It also has a butt. What's the thing where people get advice? There we go. It's advice. Nice. Got some advice from someone who's running it. Uh... Did you confuse feet and advice? Feedback is what I was, my brain wanted to say, but that's the exact opposite of advice because uh... it's before you do the thing. I don't know what I'm trying to say anymore, so I'm just going to stop talking. That's fair. Sometimes right, well, I'm thinking if, advice. Uh, everybody's feet come good. Out. I'm good. Where to turn on the music and adjust Ooh. the volume to your liking. Cat! That's too low. Go, go, Power Rangers. Wait a minute. All right. Oh my god, Angel. 
So. Where we last left off a month ago. Um, <laughs> Dazardis, Lilith, Pemberton, and Margaret all found their way to the city of Aban. Um, and immediately were detained due to the amount of dead Imperial soldiers on the boat that they were on. No. <laughs> After a um, rushed introduction into a character, or sorry, character, fuck, I'm meta over here. Um, an individual that goes by the name of Erndal, who is apparently a moonshiner in the city um very old giant red dragonborn uh who appears to be blind as well um after a short conversation the bar was interrupted by a small elvish man by the name of revelor paley mm -hmm. who seemed to not like uh dragons all that much Oh. Uh, after he was driven out of the bar through no short effort of Lilith, telling him to fuck off. Hell yeah. Um, <laughs> Margaret uh, picked a fight accidentally with a uh, drunken ship captain that you later learned was named Saja. Yeah. And after a rousing fight and earning her respect, she decided to buy drinks for everybody. As Lilith retreated to uh, one of the empty rooms upstairs. And as you all recall uh, your conversation with Erndal, he has a bit of work that he can't trust anybody in the city to do for him, as you would all know this imperial um controlled area is not very friendly to those of any dragon kin and you guys are strangers to him and that's about the best he can get right now uh thanks for the subs he said he would be waiting if you were to take him up on his offer and we're going to join Lilith up in her room on the second floor of the inn. Thank you, Commander Sage. That's so tiny. Lilith <laughs> is invisible? Question mark? Yep. Why? Because it wouldn't be... Uh... Past invisibility. Wait, we're... Uh... Yeah, exactly. Probably. All right, let's do this. Hold on. I can see the eggs. Da -da -da -da. Wouldn't be D and D without troubles. My delicious breakfast. Is she there now? Nope. I don't see anybody. It, all right. So uh, in the chat, human. in the chat, the profile links are broken too. So when a... I clicked on the uh, campaign to open up, it said the campaign was broken. What? Let me. Let me. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna refresh the page. Yeah, let's try refreshing. Yeah. Refresh everything. Refresh it all. Refresh yourself. Hey, Kyle, can you refresh it really quick? Oh, God. Yeah. What's up, Sivji? I see. Uh, I still see no one. Man, is that what thinking? Let me move first Ooh, floor. Okay. Yeah, I can oh. see me. Okay. See you, I'm but Dozardus is not there. Margaret's not. Okay, so what the hell? I died. <laughs> this is what happens when you wait a month to play again. <laughs> <laughs> That. Pemberton oh took us out. Yeah, I did. <laughs> he was sleep casting us to take all of a, everyone to an alternate dimension and left them there. Jonesy, I am a, I am Dragon Man. You all I'm, see the new Margaret I just threw in? Here's Margaret. That's not me. No, I don't. I see old man, myself, and a and tavern lady. <laughs> For oh, and reason. another tavern lady. That's yeah, crop. there's the three that's... NPCs and Crob's character are the only ones on that's... the map for me. That's Crob. Three NPCs and Crob's Okay, so why is it only Pemberton? Wait, where's Margaret? Pemberton Thorn! Oh, wait a minute. Half-dragon fighter. 
No, that's the, the player permission says you can see. Thanks for the subs. It's come of the earth. Oh, I have no stats. Come of the earth, thank you so much. Commander Zosh. Not on top of anyone. Thank you as well. You're always on top of someone. Yeah, he's invisible for this game, so. This is a disaster already. Um, is the icons on our side or your side? Like, who uploaded those? They're on my end. They're on the tokens layer, so that you should be able to see them. Hmm. Let me let me try move, moving the GM layer, and then moving it back, maybe. Oh, the Earth, you love D and D, nice. Pemberton's back on that piano. I... Playing this beautiful music. Yep. So confused here. It's okay, we have cat cam. Okay, let's let's try this. Instead of just throwing in the let's where is How does the Does they have to Oh wait a minute. I see what the problem is. It okay. One second, mm -hmm. everybody. I, I I I figured it out. Everybody. Okay. Yeah. Very <laughs> stupid. I, oh no, crap just left. Roll twenty. Goodbye, Pemberton. Yep, okay. I'm leaving. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good in the hood. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm staying in the inn. I'm a moron. It's all good, I have, man. I figured. It I out. see me. Oh, I see Dragon Man. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Bo, bo. Man, yep. that goose. That man. Why? Oh man. Okay. So oh now. man, half goose. <laughs> half dick. Oh man. I, I see no name tag on him though. I got those artists on me. Boop, boop, boop. Where you go? Yeah. Oh, uh, there. Okay, and then now I just need to throw in Margaret. Margaret. No care. No problem here. Ba -ba -da -da. <laughs> So, wait. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot to put in put the tokens back in because I had to delete a bunch of stuff. So that's my B. No worries. Got you. Got you. That token. Ball token. What's wrong with it? What? Oh no. What? You don't like the two rolling hills? <laughs> You're talking about my body. What? <laughs> <laughs> You can control your token, right? Eggs. <laughs> yes. Okay, perfect. Now just need to throw in Lilinus and we will be good in the hood. Oh yeah, look at the hole. <laughs> Whoa! I was talking to my cat. Uh huh. Uh huh. Hi. Wait, oh, here's a what? new one. Yeah. I like cock. Who is that? Why? That was the podcast that I listened to. Oh, God. All right. Yeah. Now. He meant to say, I like how you cocked that uh, crossbow. <laughs> and uh, that's what came out of his mouth. And it was very funny. Oh, where am I? Oh, man. So now oh, man. we return comes to the, the second floor where Lilinith has eggs. She has her uh, eggs and sausage that was prepared along with her mug eggs. of ale. Yes. <laughs> Give them back. And <laughs> after, we'll say this is happening while um, you hear the scuffle downstairs of breaking chairs, breaking glass, and general tomfoolery. Probably um, several moans as well. God. More than likely. Oh no. no. So as you sit here in in this room, over by your window, you hear kind of like a little scratching noise. And you start hearing like some little taps on the window. No, I guess I'll uh your pan. Go take a look and see what's going on. All right. As you pull back the curtain out on the windowsill, 
There was a little cat. Oh, <gasps> kitty. Oh, um, let's eat it. <laughs> it looks you in the eyes. I open Meow. the window. Open the window, and the cat immediately hops on in <gasps> to your room. Oh, kitty. Meow. Um, I pet the kitty on the head. Okay. The kitty cat reciprocates and enjoys the the pats. It um, walks its way over to the bed on uh, in your room. Does some kitty biscuits on the pillow. Oh fuck yeah! <laughs> and rests its head down and. I'll touch those eggs. Se seeming seemingly is just watching. Um, I asked a kitty, "Are you hungry?" And I break off a little chunk of sausage and offer it to him. Meow. <laughs> and approaches <laughs> and gleefully partakes in the sausage. Oh. Give him a sausage. Uh, scratch the kitty's chin and offer it another piece of sausage. That's what the kids call it. It is <laughs> it is ha happily happily partaking in this in this meal with you. Alright, well. Uh, Kitty and I split the sausages and I enjoy my eggs. All right. As we go back downstairs to the rest of the party, uh, this has, uh, what has transpired is a, a bar fight, um, in a very empty bar. Um, Sorry. as, uh, Saja <laughs> has, uh, just kind of, you both just kind of regained your faculties. Had a couple drinks. She has offered to pay for your staying here, um, in the, in the promise of more excitement. Um, as she turns to you and Pemberton, uh, she remarks, I've been landlocked here for two fucking weeks and haven't had a fight like that in quite some time. So you have my gratitude. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> she takes a long swig of her ale and, and then turns back to you and ask so what brings you to this little bullshit town oh you know <laughs> no I don't <laughs> oh god uh, you remember I really don't <laughs> I honestly don't remember either well, roll, an inte well, roll an intelligence check uh, See if you remember, or if you for, had just for real, for real life, or for the character. I'll I'll tell yes. I'll tell I'll tell you if you can't remember, I'll tell you what happened if you roll high enough. But oh, you just got your God. shit rocked, so <laughs> you got CTE now. I'm in character, guys. Uh, character. Oh, you remember you were on a boat. <laughs> I was on a boat, and then we were with this elf lady, princess queen, and then. They turned into black goo men, and then we fought them. And I think we were supposed to go somewhere with them, and then we're here. And then we fought. She takes another long swig of her oh, ale. <laughs> well. <laughs> I'm going to need a lot more alcohol before I start believing that. <laughs> she, oh. just, she, she goes back to her drinks. So, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so as you all finish your drinks, have some food, courtesy of Saja. Um, you recall that Erndal, the friendly red dragonborn that you had all met, um, 
is now it is uh had told you that he is he will wait for you to take him up on his his offer of some possible work and as you recall he is just outside of the uh of the tavern at the uh, the beachside market that's just outside and uh out the windows he's not that hard to uh to miss he is a very large red scaled dragonborn in what appears to be a sea of elven and half elven folk he's out there with a a cart of has a cart of grain with a pitchfork sticking out of it ooh so remind so we we're we're going to go help him is that what that was happening he off he offered you some some, some work, work because he can't trust anybody else in the town <laughs> Right. You boys. If you, if you recall, because your intelligence is high, you recall that um, he has been the victim of arson. Right. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. the guard doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot because his homestead is outside of the city walls. And also, he is a dragonborn. Should we get to work? Yes, let's go. Okay. Is or is somebody going to go get Lilina? Let's go, boys. Bye. Oh yeah, Lilina. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go grab her. Uh, I'm level 3. Oh, oh god. Jeez. Oh god. <laughs> you could just walk all over there. <laughs> I don't know why he didn't just go through the the tape. Yeah, he went around. <laughs> All right, let's get uh get Mr. Thorn up here. And there you are. As you come upstairs, um, very lively up there. <laughs> as you come upstairs, uh, you can hear a. Why is Pemberton not showing up now? I see no one but Lilina. Okay, th that's you know that's that's great. Mm -hmm. Let's well, try this. Let's... Thinking always works. The cat has yes, his let... an invisibility field. Let's try this again. <gasps> there I am. Yep, one second. Oh, hey, um, I know you, uh, how you kind of stopped doing the whole extra life thing, but I have a page if anybody would be interested. Ooh, in yeah. Oh, I wanted to do something this December. Yeah. Check it out. I have... Do it. If anybody would like to donate, I have a goal of 500. But mm -hmm. There we go. Let's do it. I haven't actually done a stream yet where I'm actually like talking about it. <laughs> right, right. I'll probably right. do it sometime this month. So as you come upstairs, you can, you can, you hear little, you can hear, as you're coming up the stairs, some purring. That's a loud kitty. Loud, Damn. very loud kitty. <laughs> <laughs> the door closed. I don't know, Lilna. Did you close the door? Yeah. Yep. The door's closed. I, uh, knock it with my staff. You're a knock at the Is door. Is that a motorcycle? Oh, uh, you are enjoying your seemingly newfound feline companion. Um, I yell, "Come in!" Uh, he uh, he opens the door and. Uh, we, uh, we are gonna go help, uh, what's his name? I forgot. Erndal. We're gonna go help Erndal, if you would be interested in earning some coin. Um, uh, coin sounds great, but didn't that guard tell us not to leave? Do we need to worry about getting in trouble? I roll an intelligence check to remember this. <laughs> <laughs> your 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 pet your passive intelligence is fine. Uh, you remember that that Erndal mentioned that uh, he can uh, he can he can get you guys uh, outside the walls legally. You don't know. He didn't say. <laughs> <laughs> he just shrugs his shoulders. <laughs> um, Lilith pets the cat a couple more times, shrugs her shoulders, and says, Eh, you only live once. And then starts to head out. Okay. Are you both going to uh, head back downstairs? 
yeah, I'm going to give the cat a couple more little scritches under the chin and then leave the door and the windows ajar so the... Well, I'm going to shut the door, but leave the window open so the cat can get out unless it follows me. Transmutation. Okay. Um, as you uh, pass through the doorway, the uh, the cat seems to just be cozy on your bed. Oh, and no. kind of nods its head, almost bidding you farewell. Um, I give the cat a little smile and say, see you later if you're still here. And then I head downstairs. Meow. But I do close the door so the cat can't wander around the rest of the inn because I don't want to get yelled at for letting the cat in the inn. Cat is All right. This. Good to know. So, as you two head back downstairs, uh, Lilith, you see, um, you see the 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 sight of a of a great battle <laughs> taking place here in the center. There is broken glass. There are two broken chairs, and there is blood on the table. You can only assume this was the the ruckus that you heard from upstairs. Mm, the ruckus. This is the result of that. Ew. Interesting. Um, she pauses and looks at the destruction for a minute and just kind of gives a little shake of her head and then keeps heading towards the door. Oh, that's great. All right. Broken chairs. So is, that, is everybody heading outside? Mm-hmm. Let's go. All right. Uh, because I don't have a map for every single uh, situation, uh, we will just go to an overhead view of a bond. The, uh, oh, the map of a bond. Oh, yeah. yeah. You gotta zoom out. It's a big, big, big map. Very sweet. So, um, you this guys dope. are over here. Thank you. Yeah. You guys are over here by the, uh, this is the inn right over here. Oh, okay. Um, and oh, right there. as you, yes, as you exit the inn, um, not too far away, Erndal is there with his, uh, he has a cart, uh, full of what you, weed or grain or rye or something of the like. Um, he sees the four of you exit. And he lifts up the cart and moves over to you with ease. This is an elderly dragonborn, but he doesn't seem to uh, have lost any of his strength. Hmm. And he approaches the four of you and he sa- he looks down at you as I don't believe any of you reach his height. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, that is correct. And I'm kind of, I've kind of lost a few inches because I bend over. Yeah, you are Whoa, hunching slightly. boy. <laughs> Just slightly. Oh, get your mind out of the gutter. Yeah. So, uh, I, I assume you have <laughs> chosen to... <laughs> Why'd she... <laughs> Why you that? She ignore that. <laughs> Roll initiative. Yeah. Turned <laughs> <laughs> all approaches and he says, I assume you have interest in taking up my contract yeah we're in we're all interested yeah that's good to hear well to get you outside of the walls assuming the captain has told everybody your descriptions and not to let you out i propose a solution and he points to the cart full of various grain or if any of the magically inclined can disguise yourselves that would also work cool (laughs) Uh, wow this is like the worst group of people to disguise (laughs) (laughs) i put on a hat (laughs) wait i can 100 percent disguise you have you do you do have disguise self i have a disguise kit in my inventory are you proficient with it 
You're gonna have to wear yeah, a... proficiencies in the bottom left. You're gonna have to wear a corset, uh, Goofy. What is that? Sleight of hand or stealth? What is this guy's skill? The disguise kit uh, is a proficiency. Is Wait, there? A, but is there a skill? Deception. Um, it would be. I believe it. It is a performance check. Uh, I could be wrong. If it's performance, then I 100 percent tools. Yeah. You are proficient. You are proficient in the disguise kit. Oh, I'm gonna uh, wear it. This kit allows you to add your proficient bonus to any of the. What's up, Bandu? Uh, I would say that would be a uh, sleight of hand. So, are you are you trying to change your appearance? Hey, Bandu. Um, doing some D and D. A little chill, chill stream today, Bandu. Cosmetics, well. hair dye, small prop. I feel like if this goes well, it'll work. And if it goes wrong, I'm literally gonna turn into a clown. Oh fuck <laughs> yeah! Okay. And, I, um, and I am fine with either. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll a. You know what, just roll a general dexterity check. So roll a d20 and add your proficiency bonus, which is a plus two. Okay. And your dex bonus, which I think is just a zero. Zero. Guys, don't worry, I, uh, wait. Guys, don't worry. Well, I don't know how she talks. <laughs> she has Guys. a she has very sultry. Guys, don't worry. There you I go. Know, I know what to do. Fuck, All right. No, I don't. <laughs> I got nine eleven. Oh. How could, how could you do that, Margaret? The <laughs> <laughs> no magistrate has been a sucking shit. Oh no. So, so multi. Yes. Oh, no. uh, to discern that someone is disguised, a creature can use its action to inspect your appearance and must succeed on an intelligence investigation check against your spell save DC. Well, this is for disguise self the spell. So I don't know what the DC would be. It would be your the DC would be um your intelligence plus your spell casting modifier. That was if it was a spell, right? It's disguise self is a spell. I know, but if it was just a disguise that you made, what would the what do you think the DC would be? Oh, know. well, that would you'd have that to would it, be up to you, I guess. That would kind of be up to me. You'd have to try to figure out how you're disguising yourself. Yeah. All right. In Pathfinder and Starfinder, there's a, a disguise skill. But yes. Whoa. Something like that. In well, the the, the, the proficiency in this in in the tool, the disguise kit, kind of substitutes that. Yeah. So. Um, uh, Margaret, Lilith, you... Oh yes. Lil Lilith is gonna cast disguise self. God damn. Okay. Copycat. Did, did it? Work? I was just. I was That's just. A clown. Uh, Whoa. I was just looking at that, actually. All right, you cast Disguise Self. You make Water. yourself, including your clothing, armor, weapons, and other belongings on your person, look different until the spell ends or until you use your action to dispel dismiss it. Uh, you seem one foot shorter or taller and can appear thin, fat, or in between. You can't change your body type, so you must adopt a form that has the same basic arrangement of limbs. Yes. Um, otherwise, the extent of the illusion is up to you. Yep. So what are you trying to look like? I have attempted to make myself look like the elven diplomat that we traveled on the ship with. Oh, okay. Like, okay. Yep. I mean, exactly like her. Okay. And, and so you are. You are now nice. a doppelganger of Ambassador uh, Eve Lindhorn. And then I turn to others and say, elven hey, I've got this. <laughs> What was that? I turn to the others and I say, I've got this. And then start walking towards the gate. Okay. Um, Margaret. Oh, yeah, I'm dressed as a clown, right? What are you well, <laughs> what are you trying to what are you trying to look like? With with the with, with that role? I'm like, trying what are you to, trying to what are you trying to do? I'm trying to a nun. Yes. Are you are you trying to like paint over your skin so you don't look like a half orc or? Oh yeah, a yes. half or no a half orc nun of course. All right, well you don't have any nun clothing yet. Yet. Um, I'll say with an eleven, you're able to cobble together a <laughs> roughly. 
you you look you you definitely don't look like a half orc. But I don't look right. You maybe not. Probably not. Something's yeah, wrong. Trying to cover up the tusks coming out of my mouth. <laughs> All right. Uh, and then Pemberton and Dozardis, what are what are your plans? Oh, I have no idea. I got nothing. <laughs> Well, Erndal, uh, Erndal, they, they don't did, really have to worry. Yeah, Erndal did offer to uh, hide you in the cart. I guess I'm hiding oh, in the cart. Yeah, there. can we both fit in there? You want to kiss? I mean, <laughs> uh, you want to get in together? Uh, considering that, uh, <laughs> considering Pemberton is a scrawny, frail old man, and you are, yeah. should a... I go in first? <laughs> <laughs> what is? Do I have? It is up to you. I'm five foot eleven and one hundred and sixty-five pounds, and sixty-two years old. Um, I believe Dozardus is a bit taller, a bit heavier. Yeah, am I so I'm older? Am I gonna hurt? I'll I'll be the the inside spoon. All right, I'll protect you. <laughs> There is there is enough space in the cart for you two to lay under the grain side by side. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. It's gonna it's gonna be tight, old man. Sorry. Erndal starts <laughs> to kind of claw some of the grain out for a little opening uh, for you two to snuggle into the cart. And once you are in, he then covers you back up. So shall we make our way to the gate? He turns to uh, you, Lilith, and you, Margaret. You see a big thumbs up come from the cart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lilith just says, don't worry, I've got this. And then uh, nods that we should lead the way, Ambassador. Yeah, me too. So Lilith so leads them towards the gate. Okay. I, I got a question. Go for it. It says I have used a spell slot, and I don't know why. Do you know? Remember when, what when, I cast? When you arrived in a bond, when you were confronted with the, by the guards, you cast mage armor, which was then counterspelled by the captain. <laughs> eh, yeah, that's remember right. We like rolled up and instantly tried to fight them. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I remember now. So, you all make your way to the southmost gate here in a bond in the misty ward um the two of you that are outside of the cart uh as you pass through the misty ward you can see that there is actually quite an assortment of uh different races and people from other places in the world really um it's <laughs> God. nascar oh yeah whoa um, uh, as you pass through the Misty Ward, you pass by a, like, what seems to be, like, an artisan's guild. Uh, you can see people hard at work back there on, like, carpentry and masonry and the such. You pass by an old smithy. Uh, you see a hulking, full-blooded orc, uh, hard at work at the forge, uh, seemingly caught up in conversation with a smaller individual you can't quite make out. There are several temples. There's another inn you pass by, but most of it are seems to be kind of low income housing in the uh, the southernmost part of the city. But as you all make your way to the gate, again being led by Lilith, disguised as the ambassador for the Elven in, uh, Empire, known as the Athanian Empire. You approach the south gate, and it is not a large gate. Uh, it is a simple kind of checkpoint for entry, uh, where there are three guards, uh, all elves, all of uh, various kind of builds. One looks very scrawny. One is One looks like he has been training his entire life perhaps overtraining for his position. As uh, the three of you, Erndal, Margaret, and Lilith, as you three approach, um, one of them comes up 
and says, Ah, Miss Linhorn, might, are you leaving the city? Um, he t turns to you, Lilina. And I stand up a little bit straighter and say, Yes, I am taking my friend, and I motion towards Margaret, and this gentleman out of the city to procure some supplies. Yeah. Oh, well, um, there are, there's a, a, a general store, uh, several uh, stores. I, I'm sure that uh, the, the, the governor could procure anything uh, that, that you need. You wouldn't have to, to go out yourself and, 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 and do anything like, we, we, I'd be honored to, to go find you whatever you need. Uh, she kind of waves her hand dismissively and says, This dragonkin has a very particular grain that I wish to inspect personally as it grows. He is taking me to view it. The governor has already agreed to resupply me and my companions. But I must inspect the grain personally before I can approve its purchase. Roll a deception check with advantage. Ooh. Da, 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 da. Smooth. Smooth operator. Nick McNack, you just started D&D? Awesome. Hell yeah. Uh, Heck yeah, glad you're enjoying it as well. Oh! What's your character, Nick? Yes. Uh, 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 with a 21? Yeah. <laughs> Well, as as you wish. Um, he kind of turns around, takes a look at you, Margaret. Hi, Elf Road. Nice. The, uh, oh, that was my first character. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Earned all <laughs> steps, and he says, "This is my new uh, apprentice, uh, Marjorie." I am taking her along with me to my to my homestead. Yeah. And one of the other guards uh, comes by, uh, kind of pipes up, and he says, "Oh, you're finally going to find someone to continue the moonshine. That's that's good to hear, aren't all?" And he turns over to the guard. He says, I haven't forgotten about you, Thane. Don't you worry. And the two other guards in front of you motion you to exit through the south gate. And oh, Erndal, Erndal leads the, uh, the two of you. Uh, meanwhile, Pemberton and Dozardis uh, in the back of the cart... Um, <laughs> So. Strangely enough, with your combined weight, including your armor, doesn't seem to be hindering Erndal all that much. Thank God. Um, you are, as you're in the back, only feeling the rocky cobblestone streets, um, and hearing some muffled talking outside. The ride suddenly gets a little smoother, as if you're on dirt, grass, more natural ground as you leave the south gate Erndal turns you all to the east into what seems to be just a, a forest area um, there is a small dirt road that looks like it has been well traveled and he leads you all through the forest and he stops under the cover of the trees and he puts the cart down and he kind of gives it a knock and he says you two can come out now, we're safe from the guards oh, thank as god you, as, as you come out, Dozardis he kind of points at you and says you are killing my back uh, real sorry about that gotta well, laugh make it up for me by carrying the cart the rest of the way can do pick that baby up one arm. <laughs> um, and I will say, uh, disguise self as an hour. I'll say it took you guys, it took you guys about like 25, 30 minutes to get to the front gate from where you guys were. Damn. Um, 
So you got about another half hour on your disguise self. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, she's going to uh, leave it active for now. Got it, got it. I have to drag everybody's uh, new thingies over here real quick. Keep it active. Oh, don't drag my thingy. Drag your ah. thingy. The thingies. Margaret's ready. Why aren't any of the nameplates showing up? Half man. Half, half elf. All man. All half man, man, half thingy. <laughs> Half thingy, half drag. Half, half man, half thingy. All man. <laughs> okay. One quarter man. As the five of you, earned all included, come up to a clearing in the um in the forest, start to notice some chopped down tree stumps, some a couple of dead trees, a lot of ash scattered everywhere. Uh, you come up on the homestead of Erndal, a cozy little cobblestone cabin um, with a small little barn to the side. Uh, north of the cabin, you can see what used to be a, a crop field, now seemingly burned to ash, scorch marks, and scattered what used to be grain all all over the place singe marks on the fence surrounding it my god my god so now we're gonna move over to dragon's breath moonshine dragon's breath moonshine why is discord being stupid okay why is water wet so everybody can see their characters right yes oh yeah Perfect. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Arndal turns to the four of you, says, If you'll follow me, I can uh, get into specifics. Whoa. And he leads the four of you I hope it's not lifting. to the <laughs> front of the building. You see a very ornately carved uh, dragon head um, sticking out of one side, mm -hmm. and on the other side of the door, there is a sign with a mason jar with a dragon scale carved onto it that says Dragon's Breath Moonshine. Erndal approaches the door and he opens it for all of you. Margaret, are you staying by the, uh, the wagon? Yeah. Okay. Boy. <laughs> he opens the door and gestures all of you in. Thank you. And the reveal areas tool is not working properly. That's okay. Here we go. There we go. You got it. There we go. You approach inside, and it is a pretty standard looking oh, this is bar. A um, couple tables, stools across the bar. Erndal immediately walks back down around here and around the bar. Oh. Please take a seat. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> um, once Lilinus realizes that there's no one here, she dispels the disguise self to return to her normal self. Okay. Uh. And then comes out the guard. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Welcome back, we Margaret. Knew it wasn't you. I am the captain now. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um. Actually, while you guys are sitting there, you can actually kind of see into. Kind of. The next Place dimension. See, see into the back. So as you can wow. see, my field, my livelihood, was recently taken from me. You could not and... even notice. Yeah, the ash is totally not noticeable. Quite. The guard has done very little to assist me in finding out who had done this. You want us to find out who did it. Think of you as private investigators. Well um, compensated, I assure you. Uh, Lilith sighs a uh, sigh of relief and goes, oh, I thought he was going to ask us to replant Whoa. the field. That would be an easy enough task on my own. Although, 
I would not turn down assistance. I will not force you. Uh, Anyone anyway. just just smiles a little. <laughs> I can't see uh, anything anymore. Oh no! Refresh. Oh no! Refresh. Yeah, I'm, I think my browser just crashed. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh. Yeah, the stream ended too. Okay. Yeah. It's a no! Refresh. Okay. Well, he uh, begins. He turns around to uh, one of the kegs sticking out of the wall, and he has he pours five shot glasses. He puts that's one in front of himself as well as one in front of the, each of you. And he says, he raises it. He says, in my life, we agreed to a contract with a drink. So, oh, I don't drink. You lying sack of shit. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 take, he takes your shot and he downs it and he turns to another keg and uh, pours it and sets it in front of you. Apple cider. Oh, I was just kidding. <laughs> I will not pour you another. Oh. Anyways, we agree to a contract with a drink. So, all the alcohol will, got burned. <laughs> I will request that if you want to work, that you will take this drink with me, and you will find who did this. Cheers. Pemberton takes it in his butt. I mean, <laughs> boy, it'd be you, better you, if it was all... alcohol. <laughs> you all down the moonshine? Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. need uh, I need Desartus, Pemberton, and Lilith to roll Constitution saving throws. Uh, you, you know it. You, that's my highest skill. You know uh, but I got a natural sixteen for a sixteen. <laughs> all right. Constitution. Oh, Constitution's no. up top, Al. Did you say Thank check you. or saving throw? Saving throw. I got a B. What does that mean? Oh, oh he, natural, that's a natural all right. 20. Excellent. B all right. for Bumble. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Dozardus, you down that shot of moonshine like it's nothing. Oh, yeah. Erndahl takes, no takes notice of that and. I was pretty impressed. My father was an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> you, Loneth, on the other hand, you kind of <laughs> take you, you, you take like a sip from it, and it immediately begins to burn your throat, but not in a way that you're familiar with. How alcohol traditionally tastes oh whoa it, it, it's up to you if you want to to finish the shot but uh you are your throat is burning this is strong stuff um she with a little bit of a tear up in the corner of each eye looks up at him to judge whether or not she can get away with the sipper or not Roll, roll a persuasion check. Persuasion. Persuasion. You, on the other hand, Pemberton, also not too much trouble. A uh, bit of a cough from your haggard esophagus. Uh, right. Lil just smiles and sets the rest of the shot back down. A simple thing. And he takes it, the rest of it and downs it himself. He collects your glasses and he says, Now, I have in my custody one of these arsonists. Oh. And he has been willing to speak. However, if I called the guards, they would just accuse me of kidnapping and put me in the brig. Also, we are in the forest now, so I'm going to change the music. Welcome to the jungle. The jungle. <laughs> so, if you would be so kind as to follow me to the cellar. Whoa. About to get saw. Walks around uh, to the back room. You all follow? 
Out of the back rooms. Uh, yeah. Lilith gets up off her stool and kind of wobbles a little bit, like she's already drunk, and then straightens herself and then follows back. <laughs> Gozardis uh, jumps straight over the bar. I ah. run at I run at full speed. <laughs> the bar. <laughs> okay. As you all follow him down the why aren't the nameplates showing? This is making me angry. I can see the names on mine. I'm assuming he means with, on the next screen. With the, uh, the next screen, yes. Half man. Oh, we. Oh god. Yeah, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get there in a minute. I just need to do the thing. There was a recap at the beginning. We, we got off a boat. A really good detailed recap. We fought some oil dudes. Fought a bunch of shadow demons on a boat. Goofy got knocked. Arrived here, got detained. Goofy got Now they're fight. working for a dragon man. Great strength of feet, Rennis. Hell yeah. Got the strong... Strong feet. <laughs> so, the four of you follow Erndal down into the cellar of his cozy cottage. Is he going to uh, need us to kill five rats? Did someone die here? Was oh, it this guy fuck. in the left? You must collect four bear carcasses. <laughs> Oh, there do, not be, do not be disturbed by the blood. He is unharmed. This is where I bring fresh game to butcher. Oh, I was gonna Wait. say. What? He cuts fresh a, game. He cuts the meat. I'm assuming that other uh, the side of the the end is supposed to be blacked out so we can't see it. I see everything. No, it's it that it's a cage. Oh, it's a it, 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 there it, there are iron bars. They are not. It's not a wall. Who's no, that? Why, yeah, why why do you have uh human spackles in there for your meat? Well this is the guy it's where he splits because the sausage. When you hunt something like a deer, you need something to hold it up while you skin it. So you Is is this his house? Is this is where he lives? Yes. <laughs> oh. This is his business and his abode. This is a lovely no, this, home. No, this do you not see this guy over here? That's yeah, that's the, the guy we know. To. This is the this is the arsonist. Oh, that you fr well, come. then why are we investigating anything? We're gonna we gotta so question only him. Only one of them. Oh. Whoa. Uh, you see, as you turn to the cage, you see a what you all know uh, is a furbolg. Oh. Um, oh yeah, I know a furbolg. Sitting up against the wall. Oh, no. Un uninjured, but seems to be covered in ash. Um, he has several empty bottles around his uh, his waist. Um, he has an empty sheath for what seems like a dagger. Um, He's also massive, if I remember correctly. Uh, this one, if he wasn't sloped sitting down, he looks like he would be about six and a half feet tall. He's a little on the oh. shorter side for a furbolg, yeah. possibly just a young one. Bulk. A young one. Uh, Erndal comes up to the cage and he bangs on the iron bars and he says, Yo, wake up. It's time to talk. And his height head shoots. Up, uh, are the guards here? Yep. You, you, don't, you don't look like guards. That's me. I'm the guard. I'm also a guard. No. Oh, um, Yes, of course. I am the guards. <laughs> Erndal, <laughs> un Erndal unlocks the cage. Opens no, don't do that. And, 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 and enters. Anybody? Can, can I, I, I want to or... go in and intimidate. Can I do that? I mean, go you. go ahead and walk in with, with Erndal. And, uh, no, 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 no. I'm, not wa I'm, walk I'm running in on all fours. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But I want to be intimidating. So, Quanther. Okay, he. The Furbolg see, sees this, um. Kind of. Painted flesh patchwork, what might be a half orc, on all fours running <laughs> to the cell. And he immediately. <laughs> he immediately. Like, pushes himself back into the corner. Oh, what the fuck is that? I, I keep getting closer. <laughs> uh, as you try to get closer, Erndal just kind of like puts his, his leg in front of you to kind of stop you. He says, Do not hurt him. 
He only needs to talk. That was close. That then was close, he said. Now. <laughs> then I walk out. <laughs> now that there are witnesses, you're going to tell me why you did this, who you worked with, and where I can find them. Ooh. Um. They are, well, if I remember correctly. Well, uh. I can't really tell you that, because, I mean, they'll kill me. And there's no guarantee you won't either, so. I, 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 I'll, I'll wait here. I'll, I'll just, they'll, they'll, they'll come back for me. Erndal turns to the four of you. I don't suppose any of you are proficient in interrogations. Let's see. Not really a skill, is it? No, not an actual skill. He's just asking who wants who wants a shot at him. I, I talk. am not about that great. I, all right, Tropic in and all fours again. Give me a go. Okay, I back up so far. Uh, he beat me to it, Renis. I gotta post a two. Thank you, Renis. I'm gonna sit outside of the cell. Okay. Margaret, tell are you going to try to talk? Tell me what you want to know. Wait. What? Tell me that what you want to Are you asking Erndal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I want tell the prisoner what you want to know. I want to know who he is, where his compatriots are, and why they did this. Who is your daddy? All right, what I pick up, <laughs> I walk over to him, and I pick up uh. his left leg. Ah! Uh. And I threatened to snap his femur. Oh no. And I literally right. looked him in the eyes and said, Tell me who you are now. Alright, roll an intimidation check. 20. Oh my god. 20. Uh, uh, my, 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 my name is Roris. Roris Willifate. I'm an alchemist. Great. Next question. And I gripped tighter into the leg. Ah! Who hired you? Uh, the, it, it, a, a group of guys they, they needed some some alchemist fire they told me to come along in case they needed more I want names and I dig my nails into his flesh ah! uh, uh, I, I don't I don't know, know their names they they, they, they they came from from Garth Cove that's that's all I know we we Garth Brooks Cove Garth Brooks Cove <laughs> We 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 met we met in in the old the, the, the old Coast Reach Church the old Coast Reach Church in, in, in north of, north 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 in the city. Okay. Awesome. No. <laughs> huh? Wait, I was trying to look up Garth Brooks songs to make this a Garth Brooks themed <laughs> uh, interrogation. Um, Ooh, if tomorrow never I, comes. Um, yeah. Uh, if tomorrow never comes, you're gonna regret this. And I grip tighter. Anything else? Ah, that, that, I, that, I I met them there. I made the stuff. We burnt the field. I just made the shit. I didn't throw any. How many people were there? Four. I think there was four of them. Yeah, four. There was four of them in some weird fucking dog thing. Oh. Talk about the dog thing. <laughs> I don't. It, had, it was like it looked like a dog. It had scales. Wait a minute. That dogs aren't scaly. I just like some dog thing. I don't know. Don't break my leg. Can I roll insight on what he's saying? Roll an insight check. I failed. <laughs> he seems honest. Um, also, while you're at it, um, you heard him. You heard him mention Garth Cove. Uh, roll a history check, Pemberton. Ooh, I'm good at that. Natural twenty. All right. Plus Jeez. ten, I think, or something. <laughs> no, that's not true. Uh, it's plus five. I was just making it up. All right, twenty-five. <laughs> you not only know of Garth Cove, you have been there on your travels. It is a moderately size town uh to the south of uh the this uh southern parts of uh Crise, uh which is the nation you guys are in That's um <laughs> yeah um it is 
a very rough and tumble town is is at least when you left it years ago um mm. there are multiple uh thieve guilds and marauders it is a very um lawless kind of town uh at least when you left again uh was before the imperial occupation of the continent gotcha so okay. you are Important. unsure if it has changed since then uh pemberton is going to put well, his hand on... i was going to say with a oh. natural 20 yeah you can gauge that this kind of like small time crime mo um is very familiar to a group that were kind of synonymous in Garth Code known as the Midnight Hands. Ooh. Which the field burners. The Midnight Hands. They were or still are a guild of thieves and mercenaries and bandits and just general skullduggery. Midnight Hands. The Midnight Hands. Uh, so yeah, Pemberton is going to put his uh, hand on Margaret's shoulders like that's enough. And he was like going to gather everyone and tell you all that information. Tell everyone that information. What that he Before knows. I let him go, I look at him and I say never do it again. Then I break one of his toes. <laughs> Alright, roll a oh, oh, fuck it. Roll, roll a an attack roll. I wrap her on the head. No. R roll an, an, an unarmed attack roll. <laughs> 13. All right, yeah. You managed to stomp on his foot, breaking one, two, or five toes. Stomp on the I foot. I want to break just his toe because it will never heal. I wrap, I wrap my, my staff Whoa. on her head. And hold her back. You gotta get a water bottle. No, I'm just like, no. Bad kitty. As you saw, as you stomp you on water. As you <laughs> stomp on his foot, he just winces back, like, ah! <laughs> and he kind of like slumps over, unconscious. It's like the grape lady. The grape yeah. lady. How do you find out what your um, what's it called? Alignment. Oh, I'm Kadok neutral. I thought I was good. Never mind. He doesn't do that. I lied. <laughs> Indeed, Venus. Yeah, I was gonna say. I was like, I thought you were like purely chaotic. After this, uh, after this interaction, Erndal puts his hand on your shoulder and says, "That was pretty good." Anyways, yeah, what you said. Anyways, I believe now we have a location. To investigate you are you coming along uh i cannot i will draw too much suspicion bruh i agree i have as weird as it is to say i have standing in this city they see me snooping around He's snooping. people might talk also i am blind you're not allowed to sit what <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing my character so stupid, but he's a smart person here. I am. I am. Ignore every. Any, if I say something stupid, just it's, it's Kevin. Or God. Crab. I am. Not a... Pemberton. Because <laughs> I want to make a stupid joke. It's just Pemberton's way of throwing everyone off. He's like, he plays the fool, but he's actually a super smart Yeah. Guy. He's an <laughs> idiot servant. <laughs> but I like the idea he's, he's like extremely book smart, but no common sense. <laughs> yes. He doesn't understand sarcasm or like uh, idiom. All. Well, he spoke of the Midnight old coat. Hands. The the. No, that that's what you know. He spoke of the old Coast Reach Church. Uh, that is not a very safe area of the city. Old Garth Brooks. I am not the warrior I used to be. It seems selfish to send you immediately into the line of fire, but and his friend Chris I would ask <laughs> I would ask that the four of you go to investigate. 
And if you find anything, pursue it. I will be here. Let's Just, go. Uh, go back upstairs. It smells like shit down here. Yeah, who's shit? Dusty nutball, and eventually we'll get to the strip club. Holy shit, that's a fucking hilarious. <laughs> Don't you worry. <laughs> Do you guys head back upstairs? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yes. All right. Bet some cores. I think that went really well. Good job. Wait, I think that I think that went really well. I forget that I'm a woman. There you time. go. It's pretty good, impressive. All right, where is where did Grindal go? Where is his token? There You're he is. Hopefully that makes up for ruining a whole session last time. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't ruin it. Shut up. <laughs> so the. Old Coast Reach Church is um, to the north side of the city. It is quite hard to miss. Got him. Mm -hmm. I bid you good luck. And upon retrieval or return of any usable information, you will be compensated handsomely. Whoa. Sounds... I only like to be compensated ugly. <laughs> In that case, I have plenty of shine. <laughs> Fuck. There, there he goes. There he goes. <laughs> he, he's turning into Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> I don't know why. That makes me laugh so much. That's so stupid. Oh, okay. Hey, Xylith. Wait, what's this guy's name again? <laughs> the dragon? Arndal? <laughs> yeah, Arndal. <laughs> Earned all. <laughs> Hardball? Earned all. And you're and you're in the ghost Xylith behind you. Do you have any apple cider for the for the road? Since I did so good at interrogating him instantly. Short sure thing. Oh I got it. And he Why is there two of them? He... Are there two of them? I can only see one. There are two well, of them. Double right, vision. Yep. Right. There he is. It's um, the ghost Xylith that I was he, talking he, about. He, he comes over. Sorry, I was on another page. He comes. Over, he goes over to um, one of the crates over here. He pulls out a bottle of that is as as labeled as uh, Earned All Reserve Apple Cider. Whoa! This was meant for um, this was meant for uh, one of the inns. But uh, good job. And he hands you the bottle. So you now have a bottle of apple cider. Thank you. Thank you. And good luck. You will oh, I just love you. probably need it. What, what is that supposed to mean? You're going to Ghost Reach. It's not a oh, very yeah. safe place in the city. Yeah, I said that. Oh. <laughs> I cry. <laughs> <laughs> so... Are you all on your way? Yeah. To investigate? Rock and roll. Okay. Rock and roll. So we come back up to the over, the bird's eye view of Aban. You all make your way back to the southern gate. Um, oh my god. So Lilanith, Pemberton, and Desartus. How are you three making it back in? We're just gonna be like, oh, we were. I picked this up. Um, we have to get through the the gates we went through. Yes. Mm -hmm. I have no way. You could try to sneak your way past Margaret. Uh, you are still disguised, and they are under the impression that you are Erndal's new apprentice. Uh, however, Lilith, your spell is gone, and Dozardus and Pemberton, you were in the cart when you left. As you approach the south gate before any interaction is had, you notice these are the same three guards that you had interacted with not too long ago. Um... I I will recast Sky Self. I'll just okay. stay here. Oh wait, I was gonna carry the. I have to carry the wagon back. No, he kept the oh, wagon you know. at his. It's his place. Place. At oh. town. Yeah, it's his place. So smooth, Agent K. Oh no! This is. What happened? 
Where did the Godzilla come from? Godzilla. What? What? Yeah, Godzilla's attacking. Damn. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> we take advantage of the confusion. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what y'all are seeing. Really? Uh, you want to get a picture? Oh, I see. <laughs> da, 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 Thank da, you, da, 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 da. smooth agent. Hydrate. Oh god, Dusty Nut came out of Lurk Mode to drink eight cores lines. Oh no. <laughs> or nine. Um, drink eight Natty Ices, please. Uh, I'm going to... I don't um, know. I'm too old to figure this out. You should so, make believe Lilith, you're lost. Lilith recast the... Uh, yeah, I want to do that. ...to be the um, ambassador again. Okay. And she just says to everyone, just follow my lead and walks up to the gate. Thank yeah. you. As you all walk back up to the southern gate, um, two of the guards, uh, the one that uh, Erndahl had uh, talked to earlier, as well as the one that you uh, fooled, um, approaches that, oh, Miss Linhorn, uh, why are you with these... You two are... Whoa. Y'all are not supposed to be outside. I'm lost. Ambassador, explain, please. It's all right, guards. Um, I found these two while the apprentice was escorting me back to the city. Apparently the wizard fell asleep in the bar half drunk and accidentally cast a displacement spell, sending himself and his friend out into the woods. Yep, and I can totally I... do that. Yep. <laughs> and I'm escorting them back to the inn and warning the innkeeper not to serve the wizard any more drink for the day. What? Roll a deception check. Can I aid? By just agreeing with her, no. Wow, that's oh, wait, that. you're you're a succubus. Roll with advantage. Because this is this is a uh this is a male guard. That's better. That, that, that's a feature that I don't think is listed. Uh whenever you make a persuasion or deception check against someone of the uh opposite sex, you roll with advantage. Mm -hmm. Nice. What's up, ready? What's up, smooth agent? I, I see. Um Well, I will notify the captain of this uh accidental escape uh um uh, uh Th thane and he point he he gestures over to uh the guard that erndal had talked to earlier who is kind of just like leaning up against the wall yeah what uh would you be so kind as to Escort the ambassador back to what? What in? Where, where were you staying at? Or were they staying at? Yep. The the inn down by the docks. I think it was I the was the Hyatt. <laughs> that was the 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 uh the salty sands. Ooh. Yes, the salty sands. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, Dane, would you escort them to uh the 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 salty sand inn by the docks? You want me to walk all the way down there? He, this fucking ambassador. Fine. Mm -hmm. And you can see Thane get up from his post and approach you all. Follow me. I will escort you safely back to the inn. Um, Lilith just bows her head and starts walking towards the inn. Okay. Um... As you make your way back through the Misty Ward and crossing into the Port District, um, you know the church that Erndal spoke of uh, is to the north of the city. That is up here. This is where you guys need to go. This is Ghost Reach. You're being escorted back to the inn by the guard whose name you now know is Thane. You are still disguised as Ambassador Eve Linhorn, and Margaret still looks like a failed Halloween costume. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a nun. 
So yeah. as you guys make your way back to the inn, what do you guys want to do? I'm gonna look at my phone. What? Um. All right. I mean, I'm gonna if be he's just going to escort us there and then leave, we can just let him do it. And then when he leaves, we can just head towards the church. Okay. They told us not to leave the city, so he said we had free reign over walking around. Okay. If I remember correctly. All right. Am I, am I dumb? Like, what? Isn't this the place that the the dragon man told us to go, like, not in this city? No. No, he You're... said it was in the Ghost Streets district. Yes. That's oh, the, if the, the furball that. The Furbolg had mentioned that 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 the church in Ghost Reach is where he met up with these marauders. He mentioned that they were from Garth Cove, which is oh, a different town. Oh, I am dumb. Okay. Mm. Yeah, this... So, you guys make your way back to the inn. Once you are there, Thane says, "Keep your magic under lock and key, and don't drink, old man." You don't have a lot of years left in you to begin with. Whoa. He, he bows to you, Lilith. And, and he she exits. gives a polite nod to him as he leaves. And he exits the tavern, or the, the, the front of the tavern, oh, and true. makes his way, presumably, <laughs> back to his post. You got plenty of years on you. Lilith what? is going to duck into an alley next to the tavern and dispel <laughs> the disguised self and then walk back out. Okay. What? No. Why? <laughs> what? All right. Let's let's go kill these bastards. And by you guys kill, are going to I the mean church. investigate. All right. You guys are going to make your way to the church? Yep. Yes. Yeah, hey, church time. Okay. Would be right here. You guys make your way up there. Downtown. Getting uh passing through the port district. You notice that there's a bit of a, a there there's actually quite a substantial um difference in uh opulence between the port district and the Misty Ward, where Misty Ward seems to be like a working class kind of area. The port district's uh buildings and homes are far more um gaudy. Um, people are dressed a lot nicer. You can look down uh, over the cliff down to the beach and see um, all the dock workers uh, going about their daily tasks. As you come up uh, passing uh, what you would know, Pemberton, to be Coast Reach Academy atop a hill, um, you see a distinctive decrease in quality as you approach the district known as Ghost Reach. Um, dilapidated buildings, debris everywhere, dead trees and grass and dirt and destroyed roads. And up against the north uh, northwest wall, you see the massive Coast Reach Church. Left to time, to rot, destroyed. Not sure if there's anybody in there. As you guys, where was that academy? I think I'm blind. The Coast Reach Academy is right here. Oh, it didn't have the number on it, so I didn't know. If it oh yeah, was. sorry. I, I, I need to put numbers on the thing. All I'll the do other that. Ones had numbers, so I was just. Like, yeah. I, I, okay, hey, that's fine. I was just yeah. curious. So, as the four of you approach the church. The marker does not want to go. There it goes. I immediately cast Mage oh Armor. God. How do I stop? Okay. You have Mage Armor is cast. Um... You approach the church and it is a fucking mess. There are... There is broken stone, splintered wood, books. There's a fallen tree that has knocked down the uh, north wall um so um what would you guys like to do Lilith looks in and she nudges Pemberton and says looks like there's a very devout follower still in there and points at the skeleton in the pew mm -hmm. <laughs> yes there there is a My, skeleton oh there uh, he is in one of the pews. a little guy 
Um, Let's go see what he has there. to say. Okay. I'm going to follow him behind. I think it may burn if I enter a church. <laughs> Don't worry. This is not a church anymore. Um, any four of you roll a religion check for me, real quick. Oh, I'm good at that. Let's religion? see. Everybody roll a religion check. 14. And six. Exactly. Mm -hmm. like All right. Here. Um, Desardis and Pemberton, uh, based on the iconography, both outside and inside of, um, the church you would know that this is this iconography is um indicative of a w place of worship for umberly oh, um hey. also known as the wave mother oh who is a destructive uh sea goddess who was worshipped out of fear of her destructive powers uh for sailors fishermen and uh, seafaring folk alike. What was the church's um, name again? The, uh, it is, it, it's called Coast Reach Church. And it appears to be a place of worship for the goddess Umberlee. U-M-B-E-R-L-E-E. -E -E. It's unbelievable. Um, Umberlee. Yeah. <laughs> You're uh, unbelievable. <laughs> and, uh... You're unbelievable. As, a uh, those artists margaret and pemberton you would know that uh her worship is outlawed in the oh, empire oh. which ex probably explains why the church is the way it is yeah i would like to roll perception for like traps and anything like that traps would be investigation if is you're it? trying to look around perception is kind of like glancing if you're actively searching that would be investigation what's the name of the god's name again umberly umb E R L E E, oh, also known as the also, also known as the Wave Mother. Wave no, I like... Mother, I pray to the. No. <laughs> I only got a ten. You got a ten. Um. No traps. Not that you can tell. Uh, most of you find are soiled books and old pages of prayer. Um. And a lot of debris and trash. Gross. Um, Lilith stretches her wings out and lifts off a couple inches off the ground and then just hovers into the middle of the church. Girl. Okay. Um, Whoa. As you approach the front altar, you notice there is a foul stench. As you get closer. And as you approach, you see there are two larger than average rats oh. feeding on a corpse uh -oh. up against a wall at um, the altar. Lilith yells back to the team. There's a couple of rodents of unusual size. Got him. As you approach, um, is anybody joining Lilith up in the yeah, front right now? come up to I'm, I'm, I'm afraid of rats take care honestly. comrade see you comrade bye bye comrade bye buddy okay. bye comrade as you comrade. as you say this uh one of the rats turns its head coming, guys sees you Lilith, and desardis and pemberton bringing up the rear <laughs> oh Oh, I hate it. <laughs> I'm from Noisy. The other rat <laughs> turns its attention also to the front, to the center of the church. What's up, dog? Uh, th these rats are about, they're about cat sized. Oh, okay. It's about cat sized okay. rats. Start kicking Still the way too big. Half yes. Man, half cat, half man. And <laughs> as these two begin to approach, do you, do you, is anybody doing anything? I bow. Wait. I forget. I wait. Wait. Are you gonna seduce I have a thing them for this? Don't I? For, I don't know. You're they're animals. Anything. Yeah, I can speak with them. Well, better get in here. Get in I here. I run in all fours again. <laughs> oh, okay. No. Hurry up! They're getting close. The rats are getting closer. Oh, I can't speak with animals. Oh god. 
Okay, mark off the spell slot. When it when it uh, when he does that on the in the chat, it marks it off for you. Okay. Yep. You can hear the two rats talking to each other. The th other three of you, you just hear squeaks, but you can hear one saying to the other, "Fresh, fresh, fresh meat, fresh meat, fresh." It's this one's fresh. These are fresh. Oh God. I want to stop that. I'm not. I'm not fresh. I'm sorry. Oh, God. Hey, hey, green, green one speak. Green one speaks. It's me, Colette. Hi, Colette. They, they both immediately come over to you, oh, no. Margaret. One kind of over by Desardis. They both kind of stand up on their hind legs, almost reaching your knees. Uh... Actually, are reaching your knees. You speak us. Feed. 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 I take out uh two things. I take out fresh rations and give them uh rations i also give them uh i pour out some of the uh cider i got and give it to them as mm. you begin to do this another rat appears from behind a pillar and begins to approach oh, they're all gonna as well one appears from underneath oh, the pew where the skeleton is and begins to approach move away and hops up on the broken pillar as you now, move away, to Zardis, the one next to you goes, shh, shh. Ah! And you can hear Mark Margaret says, it says, scale one, scale one, scale one. Uh, As you drop the rations on the floor, um, in unison almost, they say, meat, meat, meat. Usually okay. rations don't contain meat, just so you know. It's like hard tack. No, it says, including Zerky. <laughs> It does. <laughs> Rations consist of dry food suitable for extended travel, including jerky, dried food, hardtack, and nuts. Mm. Not not in the olden days. No, thank you. All right. Thank they... you. This is possible. Mm. True. Roll roll an animal handling check. Plus. You can amount them all. Five. I Holy handle the fuck out of it. Oh my god. They. <laughs> 23. Can I see the Pied Piper, please? They begin to partake of the jerky kind of struggling to pull it apart in their little rat jaws. The other two kind of join in. I'm going to I'm going to say wait on it. And rip it rip it apart for them a little bit cuz it's easier. Okay. I I'll, I'll help and then I rip it Pem apart for them. Pemberton looks at the other two is like what the fuck do we do? <laughs> <laughs> just let them just let them do it. Let her do it. What if I told oh. you that we're mm. going on a adventure to a uh, and there's plenty of fresh meat there for you. Advent, we no, no, no outside, no outside. Only, only meat, only meat. What if I tell you there's man meat? Oh, yeah, man. Meat. <laughs> <laughs> they turn. They they look away from you, Margaret, and they they look towards the other three people in your party. They say, man meat here, fresh meat here. Why no. go when here? Friends, friends, friends here. Friends. Yes. Roll a persuasion check. Fuck. That's not great. It's not great. Friend tastes good. Friend, friend tastes good. The other three rats say, yes, yes, tastes good. Fresh meat. Fresh no, meat. No, 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 no. The place we're going has the freshest of meats. Fresh meat here. Is... Fresh meat now. Well, no, and then I point to Pemberton and say, that's not fresh. <laughs> it lives. Barely. <laughs> <laughs> and then I point to Lilith and I said, this we don't even know what that is. Desardus. And then I pointed to Desardus and said that he's poisoned. <laughs> and you will um, die to eat him. Desardus, Lilith, roll me. Actually, no, you'd be able to hear this. Up here on the altar. You begin to hear like creaking, like wood splintering, and you can hear the piano oh. almost playing. Ding, ding, ding. And out from underneath the hood, I guess it's called. I don't fucking know. The uh, what this? The cover. The, lid. the cover. The cover. Yeah. yeah. Covers. You see, you start to see these giant rodent claws climb out of it. Oh, oh it's Ratman. <laughs> and you see a massive diseased ridden oh. rat 
about yeah. the size of about the size of a bear cub crawl out of the piano. I cast and a it, spell. Instead of Okay, what are you casting? What? Uh, I'm casting <laughs> false life on myself. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> casting false life. You Margaret will be able to hear it speak. And say, like, I oh, yeah. smell it! The meat! Fresh! Fresh! All of you just hear a roar from this massive diseased rat. So, uh, is uh, that one friendly too? <laughs> it jumps over off of the altar toward oh, no. you. And I need everybody to roll initiative. So that, that spell gave me eight temporary hit points. Eight temporary hit points. All right. I need everybody to roll initiative. Oh, hell yeah. Giant Dark Dark hulking. Hell yeah, dude. Five. This giant hulking rat crawls out of the piano. I love Darkest Dungeon. Where is I his gonna... character sheet? <sighs> Excuse me. That's a... So I gotta mount it. I need to open up. There are ways to heal disease. I was going last. I had to mount the whole town of Good Oops, Spring. This needs to be to remove all. There we go. All right. So Al, that is a five. Um, da -da -da. I have the highest initiative. That's crazy. I'm an old man. Easy Pete wasn't so easy. That I mean like bonus all. is what I meant to say. Not highest. Right. I have a well, plus you, two. You might have the high I think you might have the highest dex out of all everybody. Really? My I, dex have, is 10. I have fourteen. Yeah, mine's only twelve plus one. Oh, uh, that makes sense. Which is weird because I'm an old man, but I'm just a weak I dexterous. Old man. He's an old man. That was a seventeen for Lilness. I don't actually know how diseases yeah, work in Margaret 5e. Is a 16. They're um, it's brutal like brutal in Pathfinder. Yeah, it is. I'm pretty sure it. There's like a table. It, there's like it's like a roll table. Oh, uh, okay. 116. Well, Whoops, that's my B. There we go. All right. So as of right now, and the four only aren't. the giant rat and the four of you are in initiative order. The other four rats surrounding you seem to be conflicted kind of um, nearly pacified but definitely on edge once we attack it's mom or dad <laughs> and then they'll be like all right now it's time to destroy you so shit mm -hmm. how do i sort again there it is all right Lilith, you're up first you see this giant hulking white furred patchwork green shit oozing out of its mouth giant fucking rat climb down from the altar what are you doing Lilin is still kind of floating in the air because she hasn't landed yet and her shoulders visibly slump her head leans forward a little and she thinks she says to herself I should have stayed back at the end with the cat um I'm going to join the rats. Join the rats. Start people. attacking. Join I rats. am going to cast Toll the Dead on the big rat. All right, is that a wisdom save? Uh, is the target missing any of its hit points? No. No. Roll. Damn it. Uh, well, it needs, that's a wisdom save 12. It's not very wise. That's a 7. It fails. Oh, wow. One damage. One, one whole damage. damage. All right. Um... As, you, as you, you see the spectral bell boom over top of it, and you start to see it, it kind of winces back, and it, it, it one of its ears starts trickling like this black almost blood almost looks like but it, it's it's just black as sin hmm. um do anything and, else you still have your movement 
Yeah, and then I'm going to fall back towards the pew here. Okay. And land. And Okay. Is that your turn? That's it. All right. Margaret. It's your go. Uh, Margaret? All right. I uh, know I need to think because I feel like I have a good opportunity to keep the other rats out of the fight. That would be ideal. Um, I, I don't know. Action. I mean, I guess I'm going to just, I'm going to turn to the rats and I'm going to look at them and I'm going to try to convince them that, that, listen, however good this, whatever your relationship is with this big boy over here, this big rat. I promise you, we will treat you so much better and give you all the fresh meat you'll ever need. Just, just trust me, please. I'm literally speaking man rat. <laughs> or whatever it is. Roll a, roll a persuasion check. Man rat. Oh man rat. Uh-oh. Jesus mm. Christ, seven. Roll a natural two. Giant, giant rat makes all the rules. What if we get rid of the rat? Giant rat, make all the rules! No touch rat! Rat with us! Uh-oh. Oh, oh no. Rat. Uh... What? <laughs> I don't fucking know what to do now. Yeah. Well, that was your action to, to speak with them. You still have your bonus and your movement. Well, clearly my bonus action is... Um, I'm going to bardically inspire myself. Okay. Well, can you do it on yourself? Oh, or shit. No, so a creature other than yourself. Right. Yeah. Um, then I will, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stand right here. Okay. Move right there. Okay. The rats kind of like, they, they're keeping their eye simultaneously on the other three of you and the giant rat. I'm like holding my hands up like uh, uh, Chris Pratt does in Jurassic World. <laughs> hold, hold, <laughs> hold, hold. <laughs> but, but I am squeaking since the rats. I'm just like... <laughs> All right. Is that your turn? Yeah. All right. Pemberton, Mr. Thorne, it is your turn. Oh, God. Um, let's go with everything goes to sleep. <laughs> oh, man, this is tough. The <clears throat> I'm going to test. Should I go defensive or offensive? What are you doing? Uh, I'm going to cast mirror image. Okay. Does that increase your it basically armor they're, class? They're, it co there's copies of me that uh, appear next to me. Right, and if someone attacks you, you have to roll to see if it hits you or one of the duplicates. Yeah, three illusory, I, I illusory your duplicates armor, of yourself appear in your space. Your armor class is also increased per duplicate, I believe. A duplicate's AC equals 10 plus your dex. If an attack hits a duplicate, the duplicate is destroyed. No, it doesn't affect my AC. Okay. If you have three duplicates, you must roll a six or higher to change the attack target to a duplicate. So every time you roll, attack me, every, there, there's there's okay, three each, there's three du duplicates plus you. Yeah. So that's that's four targets. Each time a creature targets you with an attack during the spell's duration, roll a d20 to determine whether the attack instead targets one of your duplicates. If you have three duplicates, you must roll a six or higher to change. With two or more, it's eight. With one duplicate, you must roll an 11 or higher. Gotcha. All right. Still have your movement and bonus action. 
Oh, jeez. Don't tell me that. That was a leveled spell. As a bonus, you can do a cantrip. As a wizard, you, you can do that. It's just my... my It's just home, a homebrew. Home, homebrew rule. Because at low, gonna... level, at low levels, wizards are very weak. They are. I'm just going to fall back with Lilineth as a move action. All right, next to Skeleman. Yeah, I'm going to say hi, what's up? And then I'm going to kiss him on the mouth. Skeleman. All right. That's your turn. It, we come to the giant rat. It is going to... Let's see. Yes, okay. It's going to use its bonus to screech out um oh, no. three of you hear just this hellacious scream like from this rat almost more like a beast roar uh you margaret you hear stand to get them wait what what do i hear Roar! get them and free action no <laughs> <laughs> Uh, just for clarity's sake, these rats have an intelligence of two. Okay. The four rats surrounding you immediately turn. Oh no. And they are all gonna roll initiative. Good luck, Goofy. Oh. <laughs> Good thing I'm surrounded oh, by rats. Goddamn, they Protect didn't. Use your grappling. All that good. That's. Please type. Thank you. What? How much time do we have? Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, who has to leave? Have to stop mid combat. That would be fine, if uh you guys are, are strapped, for for time. I know you said you only had about two or two and a half hours ultra. Strapped and capped. Yeah. It's... I can go for a little bit longer. Okay. One more round. All right, gotcha. We'll get to the, to the top of next round in that case. Um, all right, so that was his bonus. He is now going to... He's going to approach the closest target, you, Desardis. Uh, and he is going to make a bite attack. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. Wait, tiny rat or big rat? Uh, the big rat. Oh, it's his turn. Fuck. Uh, that's a 22 to hit. All right. Uh, roll a natural nineteen. That's, yeah, that do I be a do hit. I roll your something or no? 16. No, your 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 armor class sixteen. Ah. All right, so I get hit. Yep. Yep. All right, and that is where's my. Where's my? Is. You take six what? points of piercing damage, and I need you to roll a Constitution saving throw. Oh my god. Dude, you're at eleven hit points right now. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Remember that time Al died? I got a four. Fresh got a four. Field. You are now poisoned. Oh god, so take away six points and poison now? Yes, you are poisoned, which means you have disadvantage on all attack rolls. Okay. God. Wait, did you heal? I, I was gonna say, you, did, you, did, you didn't fight after the ship so you so, should be so at should max I... hit point okay so 25 minus 6 then uh... yeah so you should be at 19 okay all right because you i mean yeah, unless... that's when we i don't i don't recall went to bed you should have boat. hit that you see that long rest button at the top did you hit that when we went to bed uh, i could have sworn i did but should i hit it now or just leave it no, no just leave you're it. good 19 right. perfect and and you are poisoned so you have disadvantage on all attack rolls, and I I think it's just attack rolls. It might be attack rolls and saving throws, but I believe it's just attack rolls. Okay. What do you... I can look it up while you continue. What, yeah, what you sure. Go for know? it. Poisoned, um, you said? Yes. Poisoned as a condition. All the food is poison. All the food all right. is poison. Next up is this other large rat next to no. you, Desardis. Um, he is going to move towards Pemberton and Lilineth, and you do have an attack of opportunity as he moves if you wish to take it. Thank God. You'll take it at disadvantage. Yes? What happened? 
Someone shooting me in the mouth? No, uh, the, the rat moved out of Desardis' melee range, so he can make an attack of opportunity. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Alright, sorry. Yeah, may, uh, at disadvantage, up? because you are poisoned. Yeah. Disadvantage roll of... d20 twice. A actions, the your great axe. Yeah, your great axe. This is not correct. Oh, God. So, a four plus, what is it? Six? Plus five, so that's five, a... Nine. That's a nine, that misses. Uh... It scurries past you as you bring your great axe down, and it runs over here uh, to Lilith and Pemberton. What's up, King Brent? Happy Saturday. It's going to attack Lilith with no. a... <laughs> um, with a bite attack. I refuse. Uh, does a 14 hit you? That's my armor class. All right. You take one point of piercing damage. Now make a constitution save. Nope. <laughs> Not these don't guys. Need, don't, don't need to make a constitution save against this one. That was just his bite attack. That's his action. That's the end of his turn. We come down to this guy down here. The three surrounding Margaret. Uh, And he's going to make a bite attack against you, Margaret. Man, oh. so dead. That's a natural one. Oh, that completely oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. Did we take a long rest after the bar fight or no? No. No, no you didn't. I'm at Chomp. 10 health, by the way, guys. God. Nice knowing you. While you... Mm, I'll tell you what. Because I didn't think of this either. Uh, while you guys were... Uh, in in jump, the downtime mm, between jump, this, mm, I'll say you got a short rest. Jump, mm, so go ahead and jump, uh, mm, go ahead and roll jump, some hit dice, Margaret. Mm, jump. Um, what? Um. I don't know what the hit dice is. If that. you go up to the top, there is short rest, and you can click on the boxes for your hit dice to see how much HP you gain back. Damn, you rolled a ten on a D ten. That's All right. How that works. So you can okay. add nice. ten points to your. I don't know how that works. You can add ten points to your <laughs> uh, HP. And the rat down by your feet rolled a natural one on his attack. So nice. because of that, I will allow you to make an opportunity attack as he misses as an unarmed strike. Great. I want to look. Uh... As I do, I want to look the rats in the eyes and tell them, I'm your new god. <laughs> and then I unarm strike this motherfucker. All right. As a, as a reaction, make that. Natural 20. Oh! Oh, shit. Oh, no. It's amazing. All right. But well. Um, wait, is the four doubled? No, it's a four. So eight damage? Is it double damage in... Yeah, because you, you don't roll dice for damage on unarmed strike. It's just one plus your strength modifier. Oh. Um, as this one makes a lunge for you and completely misses, and you bring your foot down upon it, it is just viscera and gore under your foot. <laughs> and that rat is a fucking dead. Oh, shit. Nice. Um, he done God. fucked up. So then, uh, yep, that's his turn. Those artists, you're up. All right. Um, just, just fuck him up. Fuck him <laughs> up. Yeah, I'm gonna. All right, I'm gonna great axe the great rat. The great but also, rat. you're right. at disadvantage. Roll at disadvantage because you are. Um, actually, no. Wait, it's the top no. of your. No, wait. End of your wait. turn. End of your turn. So, roll hit slash DC twice. I got a thirteen. Plus Oh. He can add the poisoned condition on his character sheet, and it should. It's a oh, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we know yeah. it's, it's roll a second time. All right, I yeah, got an eighteen. Oh my god! <laughs> That's a natural one. Oh, is that a natural one? Yeah. Oh, you then... bring down your you bring down your your great axe, but it the the poison in your veins it, it's making you so weak you can't even you can't even lift it. And you just Fuck. drag it on the God ground. Damn it. You still have your your movement and your bonus. Uh. So you use either. You have the tabs for your bonus actions if you have any. I think I do. Two weapon if fighting. If you try to move out of its range, it's going to take an attack of opportunity right. against you. Oh, here's my notes from last time. 
going to find Erndal is the last note I have. <laughs> is there anything I can do to, like, just tr protect myself from this next attack or no? Um, well, I mean, the, if you move, he can make an attack against you. Right, if I yeah, move. The option would have been to, what's it called? Multi to get away from an, an attacker? Um, that would be disengage, but disengage, he already used the theory, action to yeah. attack. So Isn't I've... dodge a rogue thing, though? Dodge is a rogue thing, yes. Mm. All right, so it's either sit here or move away and get and possibly risk an attack against you. Yes. All right, I'm gonna try to run away 30 feet. Okay. It's an opportunity what attack. What am I rolling? That's a natural one. Oh god. There you go. Oh, he misses on his, on his opportunity attack and just swipes with absolutely uh, no purchase god. on you. How how much movement do you have? Is it on 30, here? Thirty. That's what I put it as. One, yeah. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Just running. All right. Is that your turn? Okay, running, yes. Running, All right. Oh, it Next dodge up. is a universal action, but it is like a full action, so you can't attack and dodge. Yeah. All right, it's next up are the other two rats next to Margaret that just saw their friend get fucking murdered. <laughs> um, they are, they're both going to make a bite attack against you. No way, after they saw that. That's it's a 15. A oh, shit, I'm cool. And a four. You're fine. Okay, only one hits. Okay. You take one point of poison damage, or one point of piercing damage. Or weak little boy. As it just nibbles on your ankle. I like how in the chat it says, Al is poisoned. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Big old thanks to Ultra um, Wave. That'll be the end of their turn. Back up to the top of the round, Lilith. I don't know if you want to stop here at the second round because you got to get going or. No, we can go to tell the bottom of the hour. Oh, okay. Perfect. All right. Um, unless well, any, does anybody else on a time schedule? Time to the time to, to I can also go to the bottom of the hour. All right, awesome. Um, I'm going to cast. Even though I have this little guy right in front of me, I'm more worried about the big drooly poisoned one. So I'm okay. going to cast Sacred Flame on the big oozy poisoned one. <laughs> All righty. It's a natural twenty. What? It misses. Thank God. Right, deck deck save. Yeah, natural twenty. Oh. Misses the sacred flame. As you see, the holy light come out from come down from one of the openings in the roof. It shoots down, and he immediately kind of juts out of the way of it, and just sears the decrepit wood beneath it. Sacred flame a save or suck? Oh. What? Or is it? Yeah, is it? Is it the one? Is it take no damage? It's a is can it... trip, so it takes no damage. Okay. Leveled spells that require a save, they take half. Gotcha. Well, shoot. All right. Um. I don't want to risk getting hit by this little shit. Um. I'm just gonna ready my. What the hell? Yeah, I'm just gonna ready my uh, shield and mace for next okay. turn and call it good. All right, Margaret. Your possible rat friends, one is beneath your foot and the other two are jumping at you. I don't think they're rat friends. Um. How many times do I have to teach you this lesson? <laughs> uh, and then I take my loot axe and just, just two hand, just molly whop it. All right, make an attack roll. Twenty-two. I think that hits. <laughs> that Maybe def that, def that definitely hits. And you said you're two handing. Yeah. So that's 1d10 plus 3. Uh, 
That's the the damage thing right below on your uh, character sheet. Oh, 13. M max fucking damage. All right. Damn. Um, which uh, one were you aiming for? Uh, that's the dead one. Oh, the one beside the that one. Okay, that one. Okay. Probably should have asked that before. Might be. Sorry. All right. As you bring your loot axe down onto it, as it's kind of like standing up on hind legs to kind of like squeal at you you just split it in two. Oh my god split that sausage and this rat is also dead as fuck so does this little rat buddy there decide to eat the corpse of the freshly dead <laughs> one instead of attacking i don't know it's not his turn yet this is great he's got Emotional damage after that. There's no emotional way. Emotional got... damage. <laughs> emotional damage. These guys have the intelligence of two. I don't think they have the capacity for such emotion. Might make them salivate. Fresh blood so, on the floor. Is that is that your turn, Margaret? Uh, I'll just. I'm Doc and Mitchell, like and I have emotional I'll look damage. At, I'll look at it and just say, fresh meat. <laughs> All right, we'll say that was your bonus. All right. Pemberton. Oh, hey. Mm -hmm. um, hey, I guys. was double-checking one little beef little thing. Um, fresh, mummy. If you cast Magic Missile, does all the darts have to go to the same creature? Nope. No. No. You, can, you can distribute them however you like. I would like to cast Magic Missile. Okay. At level... Wait a minute, hold on. Level zero red. I lied. Okay. No. You really are bad uh, at this. Do That's I what risk I said it? about myself. Just risk it for the biscuit. Be bold, Pemberton. Alright, we're casting Scorching Ray. Okay. Uh, on Big Rat. So I, uh, we're gonna do one ray at Big Rat. Okay. <laughs> or no, one ray at Small Rat in front of me. Okay, that one will be that attack roll will be at disadvantage because it is five feet in front of you and you are using a ranged spell attack. Is that a rule? Yes, ranged attacks that are. I believe more that are closer than 15 feet, I believe, is. You said disadvantage? Disadvantage on ranged attacks that are that close to you, yes. Ooh, I rolled high on both. Okay, what'd uh, you roll? 12 plus something plus 5 is 17. Yeah, that, that hits. I rolled and 18 then on the other the, one. For the other two rays. Hold on, I'm gonna go ahead and roll damage on this. Guy. Nine points of damage. For the one in front of you? Yeah. <laughs> it immediately bursts into flames, its flesh and fur burning off, and you said nine points of damage, right? I did. It did. Yep, it's dead. Nice. And then because I cast it at level two, I still have three more rays. You have three rays? I thought it was yeah, a level it's... two spell. Ray, Ray, Ray. Like, cast it says three. You create one additional ray for each slot. Oh, you're right. I yeah, it's a, Scorching Ray is a level two spell, so right, right, right. by default it's three. Yeah, then at third level it would be an, an extra ray. Okay. So, so two for the other two, other two rays? Oh, oh, oh. Another rat. Uh, we've got a it's 19 a to hit. That hits. And a 23. Those both hit. Roll damage. All right. On I'm each. Roll all the damage. What is it? 2d6 per? Yeah. This is all fire damage, FYI, if you didn't already know. Yep. That's 11, 14, 16 points of fire damage on big Ooh! boy. 16 points of fire damage. You see the two rays exit Pemberton's hands, and it they bombard the giant rat in front of you, leaving two giant scorch marks on the side of it. You can see it is struggling to to stand up right now. It is hurt really bad. And he's going to move up 
five feet. Okay. Ten feet. Because he has some protection that uh, Lilith does not have. Alrighty. Did you take it the now... rats out of the turn order? Uh, no, I didn't, but I'll just skip them. Okay. Uh, all right, it is big rat turn. Big rat. After being bombarded with two scorching rays, it turns to you, Pemberton. Uh, yeah. And rushes towards you to make a bite attack against you. All right. Chomp, chomp. Uh, 21. Uh, hold on. Uh, but you see. have mirror image. Hold on to your rats. You have mirror image. So that ah. is... Well, no, 21 to hit, and he rolled a 7 on which one he hit. So I'm pretty sure that's one of your mirrors. No, so this is uh, if you I have to roll a d20. You roll it. Okay. Yeah. When I have 3 duplicates, I have to roll a 6 or higher. So here we go. 18. So you hit one of my duplicates. My duplicate's AC is 10 plus my dex modifier, so that's a hit. Yeah, so, roll a 21. So yeah, it hits one of your duplicates and it and fizzles out. And it is now confused and angry. And I still have two more duplicates. And I'm there standing in front of him, just like hands on my hips. Or hand All on right. my hip with one in my with my uh, staff. Alright. That's going to be the end of his turn. Skipping the dead rats. Oh, wait. Which one is the that one? Okay, so Desardis, your turn. All right, I'm going to... Tr oh, do... by the way. Yeah. End of your turn. Last round, forgot to say. Make a constitution saving throw to see if you uh, resist the poison. Uh, resist, 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 resist. Constitution. Just uh, go, up to, go, go up to constitution. Oh, my God. It's a... Constitution saving throw. Uh, yeah, go, go saving throw modifiers down there. Wait, I think I got it. Yeah, but that was an ability check. Oh. So con. The one that says plus three next to con. Yeah. On the left side. Here we go. Saving throws. Cool. It's not much better. <laughs> Seven. Yeah, you don't resist it. You are still poisoned. God. All right. Can I try? I'm gonna try to do lightning breath. Thirty feet range. Am I gonna hit crop? 30 foot yeah. is it a 30 foot line or a 30 foot cone it says 30 uh click on the word yeah there, yeah, there we go D doesn't say uh let's see here lightning like breath It says Custody range area weapon. 30 feet. Range area 30 feet. Uh, I think the dragon's breath... I think the breath weapons are cones. I'm going to check. Say, yeah, I'm, so I'm looking the for icon it. kind of looks like a cone. going to say... Oh, baby here. icon. Doesn't... Uh, size, no... Da -da -da. Yeah, it does, literally doesn't say your action to exhale destructive energy yeah it doesn't say so i guess all right i'll just say unless yeah all right i'll say it's oh, a here line we go, here we go here we go here we go oh. uh, what type of dragon are you he is a good uh, dragon uh oh he's a blue dra blue dragon blue uh five by 30 foot line five okay it's a line all right all right let her rip um, <laughs> it's a deck that's a dex save. Fuck. Did I roll the wrong thing? Dex DC of eight. No, you're good. No, you're good. He's got to roll lower than a six. That is a... Nope. Well, that's a two plus two, so that's four, so he fails. That's eight points of damage, I that's assume? That's eight points yeah. of damage. All right. Uh... Great. Eat that, rat. Why is the DC All so... Right so low because i think it's five plus his constitution modifier actually it comes out of my mouth yeah all right uh well uh does artist how are you cooking up this rat oh it's eight plus your constitution modifier. uh i, I say it's eight plus your constitution modifier yeah which i think yeah. is zero no it's con constitution modifier is one. Oh, it, it, Oh, then it should be nine plus. It'd be nine. 
It well, says it, I, uh, it doesn't matter you it failed, but for future reference, the DC for this saving throw is 8 plus your constitution modifier plus your proficiency bonus. Oh, so that would have been an 11 then. Okay. okay. Keep that in mind for next time. Alrighty. But um, just... you unleash your lightning breath. How do you want to kill this thing? <sighs> oh! Oh, me, fuck. Alright. Uh... Yeah, you fucked that thing up. Pemberton. Oh shit. <laughs> it's like, are my alerts not working? <laughs> so confused. Uh, does Artis... <laughs> does Artis is gonna spin uh, two times. You say, mmm, cooking up some dragon. And then he blows out his dragon breath. All right. dragon. You as you unleash your lightning <laughs> breath towards it, as it's focused on Pemberton, it turns towards you, and it just catches it in the face, and you don't even hear a squeal. And as the lightning fades, you just see a smoldering husk of a rat skull, and it just falls to the ground dead. <laughs> Thank you. Good teamwork, everyone. Is that your turn? Yeah, so then... Oh, yeah, we still have one little... Have one more rat, rat to kill. I forgot about that. All right. Come down to the last remaining rat, and... That is in... It's going this. to... Run away. Yeah. Actually, let, let me... Yeah, it is going to run away. Does Mario going to attack about Run Kennedy? away! It was adjacent, not next to, so no. No. Uh, what is oh, in Pathfinder, that if they're okay. diagonal, it counts. I don't think that. I don't think that's how it works in Five E. I could be wrong. I think you're right. Yeah. yeah. Um. All right. It's going to use its. It's going to use its action to dash. You move sixty feet. I do remember yeah. them doing Ten. diagonal squares differently in, in Five E. Five thirty, thirty-five, forty. Oh. 45. He's running. 45, no, come back. He's going to move 60 feet towards the front of the church to flee. And it ends its turn. Lilith, it's your go. Oh. Oh, God. What's that distance? Oh. Um, Far. Don't kill it. That is. <gasps> 45 feet. Five feet. The hunt. Sacred Flame is a 60 foot range. No. Oh, all right. Oh. Die, bitch. Favorite <laughs> flying Disa Shaga deck save 12. That is a save. That's an 11. Oh. No, it fails. That's oh, six. Said, yeah, that's a six that's radiant that's, damage. Six yeah. radiant damage. Six radiant damage. As you see this holy light come down from the sky once more, it catches the rat and it squeals and falls onto its side, but it starts like scampering to get back up. And it, it gets, it, it, sta oh, it stands so back alive. up, but it is limping. What's All right. What are you gonna do? Uh, um. Yeah, that's. I made my uh, lash out attack at it. I'm just gonna call it good there in my turn. All right, Margaret. He's gonna escape. Don't let him escape the church. Um. Pick <laughs> all terrain, right? Um. If like you're trying to, if, you, if, to if, you're t if you're trying to jump over it, I would say make an athletics check to climb or jump over it. Um, and it would, uh, I, it, if you succeed, I'll say it's not difficult terrain. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. I'll, I'll do it then. Do, do make it? an athletics check. 15. I can say you can get over it without, uh, sacrificing movement. Okay. I'll go here. All right. You hop over the pew. Yeah. And then I point at the rat. <laughs> and I, I tell it, I say, surrender and I will spare your life. Okay. Are you casting anything? Or is that your action? Uh... I have no. I can't use a person. I can't charm a person. It's a rat, though. It is a rat. 
It is a rat, uh, but a humanoid. I did run on all fours earlier. That is now canon human. No. Uh, no. That's going to no. be my action then. Okay. You're just going to let this rat Ten live? Ten thorn. Do you have animal handling at all? I do. Made a very high animal handling check earlier, which is why they didn't attack you on the spot. Yeah. But Cumberton, what are you doing? I murder. With okay. uh, Fireball. Ah. <laughs> uh... It's 120 feet range. I would say if you could get right here, you would have line of sight. If you move up a little bit, because there's a lot of, there's the rubble, there's the pews kind of in your way. You're not that tall. I'm pretty tall. So if you move a little closer, I'd say you have line of sight. I move 30 feet. Perfect. Make a, make an attack roll. Ooh, that's a miss with a seven. A seven total? Yeah. Yep, that yep. misses. Uh, you fire your firebolt. You still he have your bonus if you want to cast another cantrip. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, what? You still ha you can cast two cantrips or, or a leveled spell. Or a leveled oh. spell and a cantrip or two cantrips. How about cantrips? a 19 to firebolt again? That, that definitely hits. D10. Might be overkill. Seven points of fire. Seven points. It engulfs in flames. It is a charred husk of a rat. Yes. It <laughs> is deadified. And with that, hell yeah. We'll see you we next time. To the end of combat. Congratulations. Back to beautiful seaside music. Brand new world. So you're now surrounded <laughs> you're now surrounded by charred, burnt, squished, and sliced up rats oh. in this dilapidated church. Do you guys want to investigate or do we want to It uh, is the bottom of the hour. It is the bottom of the hour. Six thirty, alright. We'll end yeah. it here at six thirty. And we will continue. Is every who all's going to be here next weekend? If you know, um, so that I know. I, will. I should. I should be here. Goofy, think so. All right. I will keep my end of the schedule open in that case. I end up the bargain. Let me see what time that starts, actually, because I might be able to just get in there, get out, and because I is that start. It starts at 1, so I think I can get there and come back. Might start at like 4.30, but... Like, we'll start at 4.30 next weekend if we're all here. Because I, I might get home a little late. Okay. okay. Sounds good. Sounds Keep good. Us updated. Um, yep, absolutely. Good stuff. All right. Good stuff, everyone. Hells yeah, ex excellent work. I'm really, I'm really glad that I bit the bullet and did that six dollar monthly thing for roll 20 so that oh, i yeah. didn't uh have to delete more shit i also have a cat got all those gigs noise rob's got love the cat the cat cam y'all have cat cams on kittens yeah switch over to crob's cam there you go, of everyone look at that hey what are you doing over there he's on my computer <laughs> what are you doing cat Gonna get that rat. Oh, oh, oh got a, yeah. Got a yawn. Kitty yawn. Kitty yawn. Mm -mm. <laughs> Let's stare. Oh, what is it's coming doing? for you, Crow. Oh, no. There's nowhere to go. I want to get you. That's Mr. Sark. Ooh. He's screaming. He is. Pete's angel rat, Zarteth. He's going to fall. What are you doing? All rats go to heaven. That's uh, Lacey made this for me. It's me. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> Hell yes. <laughs> Bye. Bye, cat. See you, kitty. Bye, kitty. Man, no one's uh, been streaming on. Oh, oh. Niffin. Crab cam.
crap. Here, I'll turn you off, crap. All right. All right, I got no one to uh, raid. Everyone's yeah, everyone's think, left. Uh, Dan has. Uh, said they all yet. quit. There's this guy named Real Al Chesbreed streaming. Mm, I'll trust him. I mean, uh, if you want to do, I mean, Rooster Teeth is doing extra life. Rooster Teeth, um, yeah. they're kind of they they kind of have you know they're Rooster Teeth. They're... Yeah, they, they don't they don't they don't need my. <laughs> my I I kids. don't trust they will actually do. Uh, they will put the extra life money to uh. Um, they uh, no well okay hold on now they are <laughs> they are like the number one channel every Let's single year disparage they literally have a, they have a hospital wing named after them for how much money they all right doing. fair <laughs> i just don't like rooster uh, teeth that's my bias talking i was gonna say uh lawrence's stream is in call of duty 2 sir lar oh yeah sir. lawrence from uh formerly a funhouse yeah. yeah could raid bob ross or Bob Ross. Ooh, Bob Ross, maybe. I thought you couldn't raid Bob Ross. I thought they no, you, restricted I don't it. think, yeah, that you can't. I'm pretty sure. I got no one else. All right, I'll just destroy my stream, everyone. All right. Yeah. <laughs> and if you missed yet last night's stream, it'll be going live in 25 minutes on YouTube. Oh, uh, hey. yeah. Let's see if Hi. we can raid Bob Ross. Hey. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs> Have a wonderful night. Take care. Bye, Bye everybody. everybody. Oh, yeah, they've disabled the raids. All right. Yeah. Bye, everyone. See you in the Bye. future. Note the stream! <laughs>